uh, when you work norm, then students have various reactions to to um, your teaching or the stimulus that comes from your hand. Repeatedly. Um, when you teach, pupils yeah. have reactions, different reactions to to the stimulus of your hands. Uh, sometimes. They, they, they can be emotional or they, there can be some kind of shaking or uh, um, reactions of the muscles. So what kind of reactions happen in your teaching? You see, the thing is again, whatever happens up and then things, I don't know what will come. But the thing, when it comes, not to be in a panic, because sometimes people even, you know, especially people with low blood pressure, black in their eyes, mm -hmm. and they even can faint. Mm -hmm. In the 70s came to me a dancer. She used to provide me with a working permit here for three months till I came uh, reg regularly. She came, she went, came, you know, uh, classic, uh, not classical jazz, another uh, free dance. Walking with the legs like this and she tells me, I am healthy, I'm okay, I just, uh, I'm uh, curious to see what it is. Mm -hmm. And I saw how she worked and all her way. I wanted to tell her, look, the door is there. But I took her. Mm -hmm. I began to give her a lesson, and it happened more than one. Then she said, uh, I'm fainting, black in the eyes. As I had already experience with that, I said, OK, fall into the chair. And I knew that in a few, one minute or so, it will be over, just mm -hmm. according to my experience. Mm -hmm. And this convinced her that she is not okay. Mm -hmm. By the way, it was very interesting because with this woman later on, she, I uh, took her on the floor sometimes. She didn't see her. You saw how I took, took the legs. Then she came the next day or that time and she said, since you did it, the period came back. Mm -hmm. Now I'll have a child. And she did it. Mm -hmm. So you don't know, you direct. Mm -hmm. And be aware of the reaction, not to be in a panic. Mm -hmm. If somebody begins to shake, some, some time people, people cry. And if you hear, uh, when I spoke with Elizabeth today, mm -hmm. she told me she has pain in the back, mm -hmm. but she is very pleased because always she used to hold, her, hold herself. Mm -hmm. And she changed tremendously here. But she is very intelligent and observ observer, and she accepted and she is very happy with it. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when you have unpleasant reactions, you just observe and see what's going on. Not to be in a panic, mm -hmm. not to try to please the pupil. Just watch, be aware, work on yourself, open yourself. Always continue to open yourself. That's it's very simple. Whatever happens, McDonald said up, I say just open yourself. Mm -hmm. And then your awareness changes. And you are more aware of yourself, of your reactions, your emotions. And this I say again, you read the second book, The Constructive Conscious Control of the Individual. It's extremely interesting what he writes there. And people read it intellectually and say yes, yes, but they don't experience, experience it inside. This is the difference when you have, uh, you know, 
intellectual theoretical understanding or if you let it work in yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. You, you see, it's extremely simple. And you know, one of the sayings I wrote, simplicity is beyond our brain capacity. We tend to complicate things. Mm -hmm. In whatever you do, people look, you know, cleverly to do it better, to do intellectually, to do simplicity. The beauty is in simplicity. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good... And you see, so the Alexander technique is not sitting down and getting up or, or doing it right. Remember, the movement we use only in order to check to control if, in the crucial moment, you neutralize your habitual reaction, mm -hmm. the end gaining, the concentration, and uh, allowing the brain to accept the new conception. It's, this is the point. Always the, the role of the brain, people have to see, it's not intellect, it's the brain, it's a role. It's, that's why Alexander called it the use of the cell. And in his second book, third book, The Use of the Cell, the second chapter is something like relationship between use and functioning. Mm -hmm. I, the title, I read it long ago, I translated it. But uh, I understood it intellectually. You see, it was very clear for me, but till it began to function it with me, it's only with the experience. Yeah. The experience and adhering to the way and to the process along the way. No, you know, the tour or something like mm -hmm. that not just to fly, I would call it to fly on the way. Okay, Noam, thank you very much. I think it's quite clear. Yeah, I think so too. And you see, and in time, if you will have further questions, after hearing it, you'll see how it is, mm -hmm. what it tells.